Like me personally, I've had certain female friends and they've like, started to fancy man and I'm like, yeah, cool, I fancy you as well then. It. And I'm not. My name is Lippy Lipshot and I'm here for Cheyenne. I can handle a grilling, man. I can handle it, man. Nah, man, I don't. I never have a plan, man. I'm, I'm the man that never has a plan. I just go with the flow. I haven't done the dating thing in a while, you get me? That's why I'm here to see if like, I still got it and that. And yeah, man, definitely. I've been on the dates that matter. All the dates that like, would have meant something. I've been on them. Like, right now, it's just leisure. And I ain't really got a lot of time these days, but. You get me, I have to free up some time, some time, a quick grilling and all of them things. So yeah, man, I'm here, man. I'm ready, bro. I'm ready. I'm ready to be grilled, definitely. <laughs> Hello, miss. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good, thank you, Cheyenne. Lippy. Nice to meet you. Okay, you. yeah? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm all right still. Good. I'm all right. Yeah, yeah, man. Chris, I knew she was Chris, but obviously confirmed it again. Get me. Beautiful woman. Lovely. You've got nice eyes. Thank you. You have nice eyes as well, you know. Thank Beat you. me too. I wanted to say that <laughs> first, man. Damn, but yeah. Oh, he's got really nice eyes. Lippy, tell me about yourself. I'm Lippy. Um, I'm a content creator, I guess. Been doing it for about five years now. Yeah, it's smooth. I like it. Nice. What do you like most about making content and stuff? A lot of the things I make is funny, so I make people laugh. And obviously making people laugh is a positive thing. I think I've always made people laugh, innit? But I kind of think I used it in the wrong environments when I was younger, like in school and that. So it's, it's good that I can do it now and it's not a class clown thing no more. Yeah. It's actually my job, so yeah, it's all right. Uh, what are your red flags in women? I wouldn't say it's a, it's a red flag, but I prefer a woman that I'd with not to have too many male friends. Or even if they did have male friends, it's kind of like the way they'd manage that male friendship, making sure I'm involved in certain social, especially meetings and them thing there. Yeah. So yeah, I'd say that I kind of think with social media and everything now, girl are friendly. And that's not a, a bad thing, but I kind of think at our age, I'm, I'm 31 now, it's, yeah man, the male, your male friend should be at home with their gal or looking for some gal. Yeah. So if they're chatting to you, that means they're, chatting, they're trying to find you. They don't need to find you, man. You could just be friends and you understand. What's the limit? How many male friends? You could have a thousand male friends. As long as all of them rate me, I rate them. It's a mutual respect. Yeah, man, just the meetings, I can't be, I'm not saying I have to be there every time you see him, but I have to at least know. Some certain male friends might have partners and you'll be friends with their partners. Like, yeah. Ones like that, man, not kind of have to be too paranoid, but everyone else, I know what's going on, man. Yeah? Yeah, I know, I know what man are trying to do. Oh. I'm a single man myself, you understand? So. I know the play, man. Oh, is it? So do you try to secretly wait for it in with your No, no, nah, nah, not, not me. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a gentleman. I'm, I'm not a snake, but I feel like there's a lot of, a lot of disloyal men. You understand? It's not so much about the woman. I think a lot of men, it's not even about not, not controlling themselves. They kind of just don't care and they're just yeah. going to try to do their thing in it. So, yeah. Obviously, single guys, man, you know, you know how we stay always looking to make a run <laughs> into that box. You feel me, man, Dems, quickly. We're all strikers. We're all strikers till the gaffer tells us where to go. You get me, bro? What's your type? What, like, physically, like? Yeah. It's, like, slim, like, not, not... I think beauty is, like, it's, it's a wide range, you understand, so... So what is it? You're trying to block, you're not trying to block your blessings, in it. You're not trying to be like, this is the type, so all the women listening. <laughs> yeah, and no, I'm not trying to block my... Exactly. You're my type, though. I'm Definitely. your type? 100% Am I? Type. Yeah. Still. What's your type? I've always wanted to know that. What I'm attracted to mm. is, like, it's actually funny. So, like, you could not be the best, most best looking, but if you start making me laugh, I don't know, I suddenly... I'm just like, oh my God, they're the best person ever. 
think I'm in, man, you get me? Like, sometimes, like, y'all them don't really feel the hairline thing, you feel me, bro? But obviously, right now, you my thing. You feel me, bro? Like, I'm smooth with that. I've been smooth with the making y'all laugh thing, so yeah, man. Like, my, my type changes, like, the guy that I dated five years ago is very different to a guy that I'm dating now. Does it make sense? Like, so what kind of vibe then? Like, what's the vibe like? That well, now? Like? Yeah, what's the guys. vibe now? <laughs> black guys. And that wasn't the vibe before? No, I grew up in Essex, so oh. I dated mostly white guys. Uh-huh. And, um, yeah. But now I don't, I date whoever that I get on with. Well, black sense. boy is front of the queue, man. Yeah. I hear that, man. <laughs> So Lippy, tell me about your upbringing. My upbringing, um, I grew up in a place called Wembley, North West London. Football, I got two little brothers. Yeah, just football, as I got a bit older. I wouldn't say I was a troublemaker, but you get me. No, troublemaker? I'm, my, nah, man, I wasn't a troublemaker. I just had a, it was a difficult generation. It's like the youth them now with all these drill rappers and everything. It weren't that mad, like we weren't in mass and smoking on each other and all that, but it was, you get me? It was, I grew up a certain way. What's a certain way? Just like, you know how it is, just gang stuff and fighting. And I don't like to sit here and, because yeah. certain man would have been like, yeah, and I did this and I read. It's, not, it's nothing, innit? Like, I think a lot of other boys did it, did that, grew up. Yeah. I'm here now, man. Isn't it? A grown man now. Grown man. Gentleman. Yeah, I'm, I'm grilling. Yeah, man, it's an <laughs> achievement, man. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> what is to that? To being Cheers grown. to that. Grown pun grilling. <laughs> oh, he seems like he's got his priorities straight. So we're in that kind of lifestyle as a teenager. Mm. Um, did you enjoy yourself with it or was it kind of like, actually, I want better? I, I definitely enjoyed like, my teen years. They were, de they were some of the best years of my life, like, regardless of kind of what was going on. But like, at the same time, I kind of think the only reason I didn't want to get away is because I, I kind of didn't know anything else. And it's like, I'm not like, like certain men that I was around, they were in like way deeper than me and that, but it was still, I didn't really know anything else. And cause I kind of had a lot of examples around me of man that was doing a lot worse than me, I thought, yeah, it's not that bad. Like, so in, in my environment, I was kind of doing better than most men around me, like in that aspect, like I had like a, a better home life. I had football, I always had football. I, I kind of had people that I could disappoint and that I kind of had to hide things from. And yeah. I, that made me manoeuvre a bit different. As a certain man, man's in their yard smoking weed, like their mum knows we're in there. We're doing whatever we're doing and it's, you get me? So yeah, in terms of wanting to get away or anything, it weren't until I got older, started having kids and things like that, that I started to realise, yeah, this life is, and kind of just as you get older, it's not cool to just be outside and doing all them kind of things. So, yeah. Yeah, I hear it. What about your childhood? What was it like in, in Essex? It was a really nice childhood, like very like rural, like grew up, proper country, fields, yeah. like run outs, knock down ginger, all that. Yeah. Um, so I can't complain about mine, but it was only until I become a teenager and then I started going into London I started realizing like my experience was so different and I yeah. think even being mixed race, experiencing like colorism from both sides, because yeah. I kind of feel like as much as people scream about mixed race privilege, there's also a big disadvantage, you know, because yeah, nah, it's like you don't really fit in with the white crowd and you don't really fit in with the black crowd, so you're just in the middle yeah. and people just put you on a pedestal when it's like you're just trying to Yeah, fit trying in. to be there, yeah, I hear you. Yeah, Essex girl, man, you gotta love them, man. Classy species right now, you understand? They're in a little bit of a spicy habitat. So, yeah, no, nah, I love it, man. A little bit different, you understand? I'm from all the way the other side, northwest. So I don't get to encounter them as much as certain men do. So, yeah, love it, love it. Do you go on a lot of dates? I don't go on a lot of dates, I don't know. I feel like dating's fun, though, because it's like... It depends what you want. Like, nah, dating, dating is fun. Dating's definitely fun, but... It's hard, man. It's hard, like, being a, a known person in this generation and trying to, like, get to know new people. Because a lot of people that I kind of get to know, they feel like they already know me. Yeah. So they'll kind of move a certain way or... Yeah, it's kind of like... Yeah, 
okay. forced at times, or you understand? So it's kind of made me take a step back from all them kind of thing there. Really? So how, if you're trying to push, pursue a woman, mm. how, how do you do it then? And do not, I hope you're not going to say just slide in the DMs. Nah, nah, not, not necessarily. I don't really do that because again, for me to DM a, a lady, it'll be like, I would have had to follow her on Instagram or whatever, and that's just, it's a bit young right now, you understand? That's kind of 99% of men are taking that angle, you understand? You want to be the, the 1% that kind of comes through and mm -hmm. at the same time, it's hard, isn't it? Because cause women now, a lot of men are trying to chat to them. Yeah, every guy's got about 12 men trying to chat to her, trying to chat to him. shia has got about 36 men trying to chat to her to date, 36 unanswered DMs, so I appreciate that she didn't open any of them and she come on a date with me today. But yeah, nah, it's not easy, man. A dating pool is shallow. It's a paddling pool, rude boy. You understand? A man got goggles on, like they're going to go in deep. It's not that, bro. It's quick. I need to know you're on me, innit? Yeah. I f I'd like to think a lot of gala on me. Yeah? But I need to know. It's not about thinking, innit? I need. Yeah. Definite. It can't just be. That's young, innit? I've done the young man thing. I've been 21. Oh, she looks nice. Let me chat to her. What's the worst that could happen? She could say no. That's, that's kind of tired now at my age, you understand? So it kind of needs to be like, right, yeah. that's what you're saying. Yeah, you want to so link up play. So do you want like a woman to shoot her shot? No, like I said, link up play. Link up play can happen anywhere. Link up play can happen at left back. You can't shoot from there. Link up what? There's no shots yet. You've got to build up the play to get up the field. Right. Then when she shoots her shot, you might have made the pass for her to shoot. Why can't you shoot the this shot? This is football. I don't, who knows when I'm going to get the ball? We have to play the game. Why does he keep talking about football? I do not get a single analogy. Okay. No game starts with a shot. What kind of, what sport is that? I would. When I'm what, your, yeah, if that's I'm, archery. Yeah, if, if I'm interested in someone, I'll tennis. tell them. I'll tell them, I'll message them. I'm You're a tennis me. player. <laughs>Um, so, how many kids have you got? Oh, five kids. Five kids, you're a busy man. Don Dada, that's me. So, how do you find time for yourself? It might sound a bit cliche, but like, it's like my kids is me, innit? So, it's like, I don't see it as like, I don't have time, innit? Like, my, that's a part of me and it's what I do. I'm a, I'm a very hands-on father. Yeah, man, they're like my little, my little people, you understand? I'm like, bringing up and that, and it's like, it's mad to me, like, you get me? It's like, it almost... Can't say it ain't hit me. I got five kids, like, yeah. but it's like <laughs> I'm used to it. But at the same time, like I'm so grateful that like it's not. It's still exciting. It's not a chore to me. My 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 oldest child is eight, and yeah, it's just new. It was just new all the time. New experiences. Yeah, so I love it. I I love being a dad. Oh, it sounds like he's a good dad. When it comes to dating, mm -hmm. um, do you find it harder like being a dad? Um. It depends, cause I kind of think, at my age, I think a lot of people understand that we, we've been adults for a while at this point. So there's loads of things we could have been in and out of. And I kind of think, yeah, when I was young, it was a bit harder. Cause I had, when I was 25, I had three kids. And I think a lot of people kind of saw that as, what, like, what, you're not, what do you mean? Like your damaged goods kind of thing. But obviously yeah. now it's desensitized a little bit, so. Men that have children, if they're good dads, mm -hmm. I think can be more attractive in the sense of like you, I think as women, we do this thing where we look at men and we watch the way they are around their children. And I feel 100%. like, I don't know if it's because we're conditioned to be like, oh my God, men with kids or mm. whatever. But it, if a man is disciplined with his children, it does make him more attractive. Yeah. But then it's hard, I think, in the reality when it comes to yeah, dating someone with kids, it's like, where do you find time for a relationship? Yeah, now you're right though, women, women love that. Like women love a, oh, I'll call you back and they can hear the kids in the background yeah. and like, that's like, <laughs> that's major. Obviously being a good dad, obviously it's great because your kids get to grow up healthy and great and be good adults and that, but it's also great because yeah, I love you. So double incentive to raise your kids guys kids grow up and become good adults and girls love you that's what incentive win 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 bro what was a really challenging part for you at being a, like being a father 
to end, ending a relationship with the, with the mother of my kids, that was, I didn't see it coming. Oh, really? Yeah, and I didn't see it coming and I kind of thought, I thought when it happened, my kids would be older and like, you know, you, yeah, you know all them things that you just think of like when you're young, you know them ones, you don't know how to react to that. I kind of think when you're a parent, no matter what age you become a parent, I had my first child at 23, so I wasn't that young. I was mature and everything, but it's like, by the time I was broken up with, with the mother of my, my little girls now, I was about 25, 26. Didn't really imagine life like, yeah. with like, you know them ones, my kids having a stepdad and rare and, we even say luckily, there's nothing wrong with that, but my kids don't like, have a stepdad or any of them things. And if that, like, who knows what could happen in the future, innit? But like all of them things, like the possibility of all of those things kind of, I think it overwhelmed me a little bit and I kind of made some rash decisions. Oh, really? Yeah. What was the rash decision? Well, like, not, not, in too, not in too permanent, but just like, like? who you with now. Like calling oh, your you ga- call, yeah, calling your baby mum like rah, who you with? But she's not with no one, like she's your free use. And even if she is, she's single. Yeah, like but I just say, but the whole it's the whole man around your kids element that I don't like in it. I'll is speak it? for myself in it, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm sure a lot of men will will agree, especially when your kids are young, you understand? Yeah. Yeah. Then obviously you get older, your kids get older, you understand? You start to realise like you can't be replaced as a as a as yeah. a dad. You understand? So it's little things like that you learn to let go of. But I I, I got a little bit of a jealous jealous trait in me. You understand? Oh, is it? So yeah, the whole and that, I've always been like that. So the whole like throwing children into that yeah. kind of played with my head a bit. But like I said, older now and older and wiser. Older and wiser, definitely. <laughs> Lippy, have you got any fetishes? Um, my fetish is just girl, yeah. women. Yeah, man, we love woman, man. Like, not like on a mad thing, but it's like, it is on a mad thing though. You get me? Like, <laughs> I just, I love you lot, man. I love you guys, man. Girl, even a girl's shoulder, bro. Give me a girl's elbow, G. I love that shit. Girl's knee, back of the knee. I love all that shit. Everything about gal, her wrist. What? Gal wrist. I love all that, man. Do you have any fetishes, Cheyenne? Yeah, I, I think they change each week. They change each week? Yeah, it's a new thing that turns me on. So what's, what's going on right now? Um, <laughs> what's the fetish of the week? Um, lately, mm. it is probably role play. Role play? At the moment, I'm a bit submissive. Oh. All right then. So how long has that been the thing for? No, I go through phases. Like, it's always a thing. So what's the last one? What, was the, what do you think the last phase was? Do you remember? Um, yeah. What was the last phase? I didn't do this role play, but it was mm-hmm. a fantasy. What was, what was the fantasy? <laughs> like, vampire role play. Vampire? <laughs> I was about to say, black man can't be vampire, but Blade, Blade. <laughs> There's Blade 3, I think there's three Blade movies. So yeah, now I could, yo, I could be a vampire and I see the red wine. <laughs> yeah, man, this could be Dracula right now, man. Count Dracula. Uh, if we was in a relationship, would you be open to using toys in the bedroom? Using toys in the bedroom? Yeah, now 100, man, we could use, as long as they're on you, innit? I don't really use, like, I don't need supplements, innit? I'm on my team. Yeah. Like, I don't need, like, certain man, my bedroom tried to offer me some jam thing the other day, talking about raw, it would, Afro Diesel. I don't know. Bad man don't need no jam. What's wrong with man? Hmm. Toys in the bedroom. Is open. No toys on me, man. Toy Story. Toy Story. Is there Toy Story 3? I don't know. I only, I only saw Toy Story 2, bro. I only go that far. You see, when I see Buzz Lightyear is a real person now. Nah, rude boy. I'm Woody, rude boy. No. I know I can't fly. I ain't going to jump off the stairs. Don't put no. I'm not battery powered. Just pull the string. And I say what I say in it. I don't need no batteries in me. I'm good. I'm good. Would you be in an open relationship? You know what? That's an interesting one, you know. I kind of think with the right with the right boundaries, I think I could do it, you know. Yeah. I think I could do it. Yeah, man. What's the boundaries? I just need to kind of know what's going on to a certain extent, like on a mutual level. Yeah. I think that could run, man. You sure? You said you was jealous earlier. I am, but at the same time, when I know... Like, things is in place. Like, I'm a very confident person, innit? Like, 
it has to be bad for me to be jealous, innit? I'm not jealous over petty things, yeah. you understand? I'm quite, my ego will, will drive man through. You sure? It's quite a big thing having another dick inside me. It is, innit? But at the same time, like, unlimited none, it could, it's, yo, that's all right. Listen, he says he's open to an open relationship, but I'm sure he said he was jealous. Have you done threesome before? Nah. Huh? He looks like he's had a threesome. Do you think he's lying? Yeah, I feel like he's lying. Never. I'd like to. Never had one, still. Listen. Allegedly, you know what I mean? Listen, boys, when you're in the, the eye of the storm, you got to manoeuvre differently, like, you get me? I'm with my boy H right now, so I'll be honest. True, boy, yeah. Of course I've been, listen, I'm 31, I've been there. I've played that game. I psh, didn't exactly win. I think I drew in that, in that fixture. But either way, when you see the truth, babes, it's just a humour thing. Just remember it's funny, man. She loves the fact that I'm funny, man. She'll forgive me. You wouldn't? No, nah, you, do you know what it is? You see me, it's different roles. It's like, you see me, it's, it's different. Cause, Cause I have children with some of my ex-partners. I have to be their friends by not, well, I have to be civil with them by default. Yeah. You understand? So I kind of think it'll be a little bit extra for me to have them and my gal brethren. It's like, what's going on? There's bare gal in my life. I don't need that. I don't even want to know them. Even if I'm single, I don't even want to, you understand? But like I said, link up play. On the pitch, you've got to play different roles. I kind of think it's, a, as, as much as I believe in equality, men and women are different. You understand? And I kind of think, I think a loyal woman manages her friendships with the opposite sex better than males do. Yeah. I, I definitely think that. It's talking a lot of sense. Like me personally, I've had certain female friends and they've like, started to fancy man and I'm like, yeah, cool, I fancy you as well then. Fuck it. And I'm not, again, it's not about not controlling. You are an attractive woman, yeah? There's not a man on this planet with a working penis that aren't, even a man there with a brock wood, they love you off as well. <laughs> There's not a man that wouldn't say, yeah, let's do this. You understand? I know that. But when it comes to women, women can look at a man. Women can look at a man and even know that it's the, it's the sexiest man in the world to them and just think, yeah, cool. That's, I'm fine with you being that in it, but my man's my man in it. Yeah, we can. Man can't do that. Yeah, why is that? Science. Do you think men cheating um, and women cheating are different? Shall I be honest? Mm -hmm. And you're going to be shocked at this one. No, I don't think it's different. I think, I think women cheat emotionally more, but men can cheat emotionally. Yeah. And men do this thing where it's like, oh, I can just meet a girl and fuck her and rare tear. No, like, if you meet a girl and fuck her and carry on texting her throughout the week and rare, rare you're going to like homegirl. So right now, it's not a fucking thing. It's you got a girl and you love her, but you've got homegirl on the side and you like her. You enjoy spending time with her. You value the time. You understand? You look forward to the time. You got her as your little... You understand? And then it even turns into you start to value your partner less because you think, if I lose you, I've got homegirl. Uh, okay. You understand? I think women do that more. Like men, Women do the one that stands. I know girl... I know, I'll I tell you straight, I know a girl that's cheated, cheated on their man with me. And I thought, yeah, I've tried to text them again. And they're like, no, I love my man. And I'm like, so what do you mean? Like, we, that was beautiful, what we had. They're like, no, it weren't. That was, you understand? And that happened. So it's like, to me, cheating is cheating. Oh, this is music to my ears. You don't. Nah, do you know what it is? I was rooting for you. Nah, do you know what it is? Man can't call it head. Head is sucking odd. Man don't suck odd. Right, do you go down on me? Man will go down on gal. Now, like, man's 31. Man's got five pick me. Man them be free, innit? I know you're saying, um, I know this is our date, but I've got to speak to the man <laughs> then, man. Be free, man. You right, tell man. them. Be free, man. Well, this is what I'm saying. Well done. Like, tell the men. They need to know. Oh, well, come on, bro. Yeah, like, well, I know what time. You've been with your gal for eight years. And yes, you, you ain't done. Yeah, man. Come on, man. Yeah, no, nah, it happens, man. It happens. That would put me off of a guy. If a guy what, if he don't do it? 
I will not date him. Have you ever been with a, a guy that's that's not on that? No, they they say it. Exactly. Come on, it. man. It's twenty twenty three right now. We got to the American man, then, man. They made the tune first. We just jumped on the remix. Man can't, man can't claim this yet. You understand? We got DBE and the man. The man is ahead of their time. I think Stop it's lying, now, man. Stop lying, man. Stop. I think it's important. I think it's just in order to have like a good sex life, you need to please each other. No, but let me tell you something. Man, them don't, don't just go out just yamming out all the girl them, because that's dead. That's where it's it's a mess. Yeah. You understand? You see, you know my girl's on antics. You're yamming her. Brother, I know what you're doing, man. You understand? Cleanse and thing. Don't be a fool. Don't be a gal clown. Man, them know anyway, man. Man, bare man are going to see this and, oh, right, right. I know. I know. Bare man think their gal never told me. The gal them <laughs> snitching as well. That's why you might as well just own your thing. In it. Because the gal them snitching. You would? Mm hmm Really? So body count doesn't bother you? Not really, man. Too old, man. The girl tells me, oh, I've only slept with six, man. And it's like, what do you want from me? Like, Because I find like a, a body count is an issue more for guys with like their lad group chat and they're more bothered about what other people think. I've been with girl and my brethren's like, she's dead. I, she's, I don't rate her. I'm not attracted to her, but it's my girl, isn't it? Same way my girl, my brethren's been with, with women that I thought was dead things. And I don't, I don't think anyone cares about body count, but men care about what a next man thinks about it. Yeah. And if you live your life like that, past the age of like 18, 19, you're kind of in trouble. It's, it's, it's more popular to be with girl that's less experienced. But me personally, and people think I'm a real weirdo when I say this, but I kind of think that whole purity thing Kind of, it's a bit noncy, isn't it? It's like, yeah. what's it? Oh, a girl that's only two men, what, like a 17 year old or something? It's like, yeah. so if a woman's a, a grown woman, she might have went on a mad holiday and it was seven men on that holiday. Don't get too If a girl was to sit me down and be like, yeah, fuck 600 men, <laughs> I'll be like, my thing would be more. The fact you know it's like 613 on the dot, that's the issue. You understand? If you're just like, listen, I've had a mad. I was moving mad in college. But again, it depends where the college is. College of Northwest, whoa. I know bear man that went there, relax. What I don't, what was before me, don't really phase me. Yeah. Too tough. Do you like being a content creator? Uh, yeah, I do. I like it. Kind of gives me the leeway to be a little bit, a little bit less serious than a lot of men my age, innit? Yeah. The reason I'm on there, I'm not on there to upset no one or make anyone feel any, any particular way. I'm just there for positivity, I laugh. Yeah. You get me? I get to scroll on Instagram all day and then all of a sudden I just see a video of me and it's, it's great. Yeah, do you think it contributes to like, have you ever felt the pressure? Like, you know, algorithm, like 100%, 100%, 100%. I've only recently, I, I, I didn't say it on camera, I said it to someone the other day. I said, I only recently started wearing the same thing on camera twice. Like, when I say recently, I'm talking like last couple months. Other than, I refuse to be in something that even look the same as something that I was in. And that's just pressure. What about when you're recognised and stuff? Does it ever get to a point that it's annoying? Where you just want no, to No, I, I, I love it, man. I love it. Um, there's even times where I leave my yard hoping no one recognises me. And someone does, and it feels good. Like, it's never felt bad. It could get a bit o overwhelming, yeah. but it's not bad. Like even when it's overwhelming, it's like it's because it's almost too good, isn't it? It's like raw. Like, I'm a big man. I can't be sitting here like feeling all butterflies and all them thing there. Cause all these youths are recognizing, man. But it's. I just think it's a good thing, man. No, I hear it. It does get overwhelming. I have a lot more fame than money. But I think that would, I'd like to think that will balance out. Yeah, I like what I'm doing, man. Even, I'll be honest, even if hopefully it does balance out, but even if I stay making the money I'm making and I just get more popular, more popular, more popular, I'm sure that will have a positive impact on my life. Because I've, I've always been a people person. As, 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 as much as I like to think I'm a bad man and I'm this and I'm that, I'm, 
I like to chat to people, I like to laugh, I like to, yeah, I like to learn, you yeah. understand? So being, doing what I do kind of allows me to do that. And like you said, with the free time thing, it's like my work almost is my free time. And I think that's, yeah. I think I'm very lucky in that sense. Do you know what? He's so nice. I wasn't expecting this. How did you find the date today? It was lovely, man. I had a good time. So nice. I, I came to be prepared to be grilled, but I think it was a nice little... What's, what's, what's one down from grilling? Like, steaming. It was a little yeah. steaming, man. Little steam session, man. Sauna session. Yeah, little sauna session. Yeah, man. I think it was... Yeah, it was nice. I knew it would be nice, but it was, it was nicer than I thought it would be. Yeah, so be I enjoyed myself. Did you have a good time? I did. Thank Lovely. You. Well, so cheers to cheers that to one. Hundred percent, man. You're leng, man. <laughs> you know though. You know you're leng, man. You know you're leng. It's fine. I like that. You know you're leng as well, man. <laughs> I like that, man. Thank you. You know what? In terms of what I was expecting, I'm very impressed. Listen, loved it, man. Pleasantly surprised. Um, I thought it would be a little bit more awkward. I thought there'd be some moments where she tried to like put some hurdles there. But who knows, maybe I just glided over them so gracefully I didn't even notice they were there. I was just in my stride. And yeah, it was a great day. I enjoyed it. Yes, he handled the grilling well. 100%. I, I would love to go on another date with Cheyenne. Either way, man, we'll we, we be friends, man. I think me and Cheyenne, we get along. We had a nice little, little chat and we'll see where it goes from here. You get me, my bro? If he's romantic, then I'll see him again. Definitely try to come with a little bit of a high press, but me, myself, press resistant. Zinedine's a Dan hairline for a reason, bro. I'll get out of there. Tight spaces. I think I'll get around an eight out of 10. I think I, I don't think I'll get lower than an eight. That's what I'd like to say. I'm feeling confident. I think it, I think I had a giggling. You understand? She said I had nice eyes from the jump, bro. I'll give her 14 out of 10. Thierry Henry, the unbeatable season. To be fair, I feel like we had we got on really well. He seems very mature, like a, a man. I feel like that's what I want, a man. Um, chemistry was alright as well, so I'd probably give him an 8.2.